Hey, no making out here if I can't film it and sell it. Y'all do know I'm a porn producer. All right, here we go. A day's work. All in a day's work, honey. Ooh! Bet you almost hit me. Welcome to my Google service. Need a ride? Yes, Raja! Yeah. Uh, are, are you a police? No, a cop? no, I'm not a cop. Okay, okay, you can we, come in and touch then, me. You can touch good, me. Then we're good. Then we're good. <laughs> Hey kids, DragCon LA 2018 is coming. May 11th, 12th, and 13th, they added that extra evening for weekend pass holders mm. and VIPs. So make sure if you don't have your tickets, you get them now. Where? I don't know. Where do you get them, Raven? At RuPaulsDragCon.com. Oh. That's RuPaulsDragCon.com. We will be there. We will be there and we will do our amazing annual panel of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review live in person. DragCon is coming by my merch. Yes. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Listen, are, you have to always say, are you dating? <laughs> oh, is that, is that the rules? <laughs> that moment right there was very nostalgic. Uh, it reminds me of like my early days in Santa Monica Boulevard, just kicking it with So the, you with did the those early days too? Bitch, I'm old as, remember? Raja, I love you. Bitch, I've been begging you to for get how many in, months? To get I was in the like, car, I mean, and now it's happened. And we're gonna get something to eat from some Jack in the Crack. Is it on? Is this bitch recorded? Oh my God, this I love so you. This is so fun. You know, we hung out in New York City because we both got an award. We uh -huh. got we got some good awards in New York City. And after it was all over, you were you were drunk and I was drunk. Well, it was also right after DragCon, so I really needed a drink. Yeah, and we were like, both we were both we were both drunk. I like to kill two birds. And do I, some, you know, get an award, do some <laughs> philanthropy while drinking. So And know. I ask you mm -hmm. this question. I love your hair. Is that all your hair? You was like, yes, that's all my hair. And then I said, Are you a top or a bottom? I don't know what made me say that. I think it was the drink. Uh, and do you know what your response was? I said I was a blouse. A blouse! A blouse, bitch! <laughs> a blouse! I didn't know a blouse. what- blouse! Roger, I didn't know what I mean, that think mean. about it. A blouse is a feminine top. It's silky, it's smooth, it's got like a really beautiful blushy color to it, but it fucks you the hell- You know what I mean? It's a blouse. A blouse, a blouse, a Do blouse. you know, I went top. home after the, after the alcohol wore off of me. Uh -huh. And I was like, why does she liken herself into a blouse? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, everything always goes back to fashion for me. It's always an article of clothing. You know? Yeah. Man. So I got a couple of questions. Okay. Raja, how did you get your start in drag? So I'm from Southern California, which is where we're driving right now. We're driving through Hollywood. Yes. And I grew up here mostly. I grew up in uh, La Puente, which is right outside, like probably 20 minutes outside of Los Angeles itself. I came out, well, I I never really came out. I just went out. You just, you just was out. <laughs> yeah, I never had to come out. I just went to the you club. You just went to the club. Yeah, bitch. it was there was no there was no need to come out for me. I, I've always been sort of a flamboyant. The first club I ever went to was probably about fifteen. My first experiences in drag were really being a club kid because it was the '90s, right? You know? And you remember, you remember yeah. parts of the early I'm, '90s, I'm, and I'm kind of that. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of thirty. I grew up in a in a, in a pretty. Uh, I grew up in the hood. Yes, <laughs> that's why you like I'm me because you, you know I'm a hood girl. Yes, yeah. And you know you can take the girl out the hood, but you but can't never. take the. Oof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hood will always be there. Always be inside. Yeah. The, queers and freaks that I was hanging out were hood children. Okay. We were like, they were like Mexican chola gothics, you know, and, and we went to clubs. So that's really when it started for me was kind of the club kid movement. Within a year or two of me attempting to do that and kind of experimenting with it, my friends were like, you know what, you're kind of like, you're kind of like gorgeous. Like but you're you really are. tall I mean, no thin. shade. Like, you know, you were, you're giving me something. I you're fell in love me... with you. I, I fell in love with you on Drag Race. It was such a different take on fashion. It was such a different take on drag. It was all the things that I saw you do. It was just like, it's out, it was outside of the norm. And I'm a girl that's not, I don't fit the norm. Mm, maybe that's how we get along yes. so well. Yes. yes. Who is Viva Sex? Oh, damn. You were bringing up names, bitch. <laughs> Viva Sex is, is technically my drag mother. She's a very controversial character. But back in the day, she was 
very well known as being the great Madonna impersonator. Small in stature, you know, had it all down. Like she was about the same age as Madonna. She really kind of uh, taught me a lot. She taught me how to be tough and how to be sort of, you know, provocative and nasty. But, mm. but Do you think you're those things, Roger? Maybe sometimes, yeah, but she, she really was a catalyst and was one, one of the first people to teach me how to just kind of go balls to the wall with life and well there's nothing well, she's, like she's, balls on the wall you know oh, honey, please. <laughs> but you know sometimes you do grow apart from the people that well you, you do first... sometimes that happens but that doesn't mean that the love is gone mm, it yeah. don't and that's the same way with a man like sometimes you you may get separated from a man and you know the love yeah is, you know the sex may not be the same and the head might be awful but you still love him mm -hmm. what girls from uh the more recent seasons of rupaul's drag race do you absolutely love oh so many there's only a few that i really dislike <laughs> but let's talk about positivity here. I, um, <laughs> you know there's so many uh, i uh who do you like, girl? Okay, I we'll love. We'll talk about who um, you dislike so at, the, many. at the at the studio. God, so does he have a fat ass? Uh, he has a fat stomach know. too. Yeah, that's what it is. I couldn't even tell. I like them both. The stomach and the ass. Oh my god! I sure will. I go in from the front and the back. A big stomach means you got a deep belly button. So. Hey. Now let's talk about these queens that you don't like. I, I mean the ones that you do, the ones that you do. <laughs> no, you know what, the ones that I, that I don't like are the ones who just don't handle their position in uh, the public eye responsibly. We are definitely s sort of role models and you know, and people are watching us and I think we should just kind of behave a little bit. Be cool to your fans, nobody be shady. You, you know, we, we are in a position. Oh, Jack in the Box. Yes, Jack okay. in the Crack. But you know, I'm not saying don't be a badass, don't be rock and roll, don't have a good time. You know, I'm not saying any of that, but at least just kind of, you know, when it, when it just. Chill. Chill. I got chill, it. Chill, chill, I understand. Which girls from your season are you closest with? I'm closest um, to Manila, really. I love Manila. Manila is so fashionable. She is. Manila's cool. Manila she's and I are both, um, we're both. Um, blouses? Are, we... are you both blouses? I think she's a blouse, too. I, I she might be an off the shoulder blouse. Hello? 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 Are you ready to order? Yes. Can I get those two, ta uh, the two tacos and some curly fries? And a large curly fries? No, just a small one. Oh, the 280 calorie. <laughs> no, I'd like to have three egg rolls, please. Yes. I'd like to have a small peach Sprite. What is a peach Sprite? Just Sprite with some peach pee in it. Oh, <laughs> peach pee. That'll be all. Are you not feeling the love from this place? He's not. Ha he's not happy today. And I mean, maybe, maybe I can cheer him up. Maybe you can. You know I have that type of energy mm -hmm. that'll cheer a bitch up. But if not, I'll cuss his mother ass out. Please. Oh my god. I hope, <laughs> I hope his attitude is horrible. <laughs> oh, is he cute? Does he look cute in the window? I don't know. He's tinted. I can see, listen, I know a cute face through tints and all. You can? Just like I can tell a man mm. through tints. Clocked? Yes. Through the tint? That's the word, clocked. Ooh. <laughs> That's the word you know, we gotta use, clocked. Being clocked has only happened to me after my 30s. I think my masculinity really kicked in uh, after, look how masculine I am. Well, you you have. You look like a beard. You got a beard and stuff. This would've never happened before. Like but in my sister, 20s. even if you cut all that off, you so, it's just fish. Is it? That's why I was like, you said you're a top, and I was like, you said you're a blouse. I'm back to the blouse thing. You know that blew me. <laughs> it really blew me away. I was like, I gotta use that, a blouse. Okay, first before I say, what neighborhood is this? We are in Hollywood right now. I used to live up the street from here. Oh, it's not that bad, man. No, no, it's not that bad. We're not gonna get shot here. Oh, I shoot bad. Ooh! How much? 10, 14. Oh, I'm checking. I got money. Oh, no, baby, I got it. Oh. Oh. I never even thought about that. Putting the, yes, putting the cash in. Oh, the... yes. I'm sorry. How much you said again, baby? 10 14. Oh, we got 20 cents down here. Look at God. God is so good. Oh, he good. Baby, I was like, what is he mad for? Because you sound like you was mad earlier. I thought, yeah, I thought you was mad. I said, I didn't do it to you. It wasn't me. <laughs> you was like, you ready to order? They ordered new headsets. I think they all are headsets. Oh, okay. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he is. He's real nice. Well, you just okay. Well, do you know what they say about those that don't talk loud? They carry a big stick. 
Have yeah. a good day. <laughs> you too. Bye. <laughs> he kind of looked like Ray J. He was, he was cute. He kind of looked so like cool. a rough, 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 rough. Yeah. Rough, rough, rough version of Ray J. Let me come over here because I think we need to enjoy. We need to bask in the ambiance of, uh, of Sunset these Boulevard. Sunset Boulevards and things. Oh my goodness. Let me pull right here next to this white car. Oh no, I'm going to pull right here because I don't want them to open up the card and see us eating like men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you had a Jack in the Box taco? It was two for 99 cents. And I'm telling you, I don't know what they, what kind of meat is in here. I think it's dog, a food, and pencil erasers. But it is the most delicious dog food. So dog, pencil. a food, and pencil erasers? Mm -hmm. I think that's the same thing in these egg rolls, because this shit make me, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, it's hot. Ooh, ooh, mm. oh, ooh, 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 Raja. People ask me all the time, they're like, ooh. what does an off-duty model feed herself? Oh, 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 it's hot. It's hot, I can't get in it. Blow on it, bitch. <laughs> Hush them, da 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 da. Oh, thank you, I woke up. Look at it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Dog, mm. dog food. Mm hmm. Pencil eraser. Mm hmm. And lettuce. That's what it is. Mm. So, Roger, before you became a drag superstar, mm -hmm. you did a lot of celebrity makeup. I did, yeah. I did. I don't do it very much anymore, but, um, but I don't miss it. You don't? <laughs> I don't. I did that for like 20 years, and I still do makeup. Roger, now, you can draw too. Yeah, I paint. I told you I wanted you to draw me one day, but not okay. not the fat version of me, the skinny version. No, we could do that. There's two versions of me. There's the fat version, there's the skinny version. I'm going to give you an older picture when I was smaller. I want you to draw that. Okay. I think you're fine in whatever form right now. Because you might you. put a neck on me, and I may like, oh my God, do I really look like that? It's all these Jack in the Box egg rolls. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're, I'm gonna make a neck on you that's as small as that. Egg roll. <laughs> like, a, like a bobble head. Like, how does she keep her head on that neck? That is, that's. Oh yeah. my God. Um, what are some of your favorite memories of um, America's Next Top Model? Mostly the travel. You know, entire banks took me around the world. We did photo shoots in Thailand. I remember doing um, shooting the girls on top of elephants in a rainforest in Thailand. You know, we did a photo shoot in the Great Wall of China and in the Forbidden City in Beijing. I couldn't uh, be more thankful to Tyra. She taught me a lot. Girl, let me tell you about my worst experience smoking marijuana. Okay. Uh, you know I did porn majority of my life. Mm. No shame. No, none. I'm not doing it anymore, but I've done it. So I was supposed to go in, in the bathroom and get ready, you know, on set. So the guy came and he says, Maddie, you want to smoke this weed with me? And I was like, um, I don't smoke. He said, this is some real good hey, I watched him break it up, crush it up, roll it in the paper, roll it up. And he says, you want to hit it? And I was like, um, yeah. I went upstairs. I was supposed to be dushing. Raja, I pulled my mother wig off. I never I, put it back on. I never put the wig back on. And the dish bottle was on the outside of the bathroom. The <laughs> sink was running. <laughs> and I was sitting on top of the toilet seat. Couldn't move. Mm. I couldn't function. I couldn't, I, and I never touched it again. Well, see, here's the thing. Now, it's, it's a lot more sophisticated now. You can get like a sativa, which is one that sort of wakes you up. People call it daytime weed. You can function on it. You can go to work. But that's all this stuff done. here in LA. Like we have, we don't have the, we're not accustomed, accustomed to oh that. Oh my in, goodness. You, here South. you can you can choose from 20 different sativas, 20 different indicas. You can even get a hybrid, which is a mix of the two. And now you can get edibles. Here in LA, you can get hot sauce, lemonade. You can get some weed for your dog. If your dog's got anxiety, you got that extra like yippity chihuahua that needs to calm down. Yeah, Everybody's so mellow low. here in LA. I think so. Wow. It's, uh, you know, it's always been kind of I couldn't culture. do it though, sister, because it, it takes me to a place where I'm just like, uh... Okay. Well, next time you're in town, you're going to have to come over. I will. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because um, you're going to have to teach me about this blouse thing. I okay, think, okay. I think I might be a blouse, too. But what, I think I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. You're a versatile blouse. A versatile blouse. Yeah, sometimes you're a tube top. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you're a blouse. <laughs> Baby, I keep passing you. You're still cute. You're welcome. Oh my God, he is cute. He's so handsome. I don't mind telling the man that. No, not at all. So how was your, your Provincetown show? I often compare that doing the show to fisting. Oh! You know, because sometimes- You know what? I want to show you something on my phone. Okay. Fisters, you know, they start with four fingers and they're like, oh, four fingers is cute. Let me put a thumb in. And then you're like, oh wow, I the thumb know. is fine too. So you've been involved in fisting? 
I have fisted. Yeah. You you had you fisted. Look at me. Don't I look like I fisted yeah, you, somebody? Yeah, you fisted. Yeah. Precisely. I've never been fisted. Yeah, I don't want to be fisted. No, I no, just, I'm no one's Kermit the Frog. I can barely handle a penis. You mm. know, you've seen me scream and holler. And you're dainty. <laughs> I gotta show you. I sent this to my mother. Let me turn it up. Look at that! It's all elbows deep. <laughs> 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 Roger, so I love fun. you. I'm listening. I, I love, love you, you. baby. It was so fun. I love you. Roger, I love I you. I love you. And I will talk with you soon. Okay, baby. And anytime you need to be picked up and taken anywhere, you know my boobo service is always open. Oh, I love it. Oh. Don't play. I know you're hungry.